Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to XCOM 2. Well, last time, there was good news and bad news. The good news is we've now got a brand new type of soldier, the robot, though this one does need, you know, some repairs before it goes back onto the field. And the bad news is when it does go back onto the field, okay, things are going to be potentially a whole lot more difficult than they used to be, because... Uh, We've gone up to command difficulty, because uh, I feel like I've got to grips with the basics now, so, uh, oh, I'm going to regret this, you know, immediately. Still, there are things we can do to, yes, level the playing field a bit. Immediately, we can start working on, yeah, improved weaponry and indeed improved uh, armor for my sparks, so... Uh, if I decide I like the Sparks, we should probably invest in that, because otherwise, uh, yeah, they just have a way less health than everybody else. And on top of that, okay, I'm not sure when this became unlocked precisely, but the special weapons. We can now make those better, so, uh, I mean, to be honest, yeah, the Axes or whatever, the bolt caster I am uh, underwhelmed by, but Shadowkeeper is Cameron's best friend. So basically, we're getting that improved immediately. And I have no idea precisely what this is going to do, but I've got the feeling that yes, if I got to grips with them, Templar could be really, really good. So you guys get an upgrade as well. Marvellous. I just spent all the money, didn't I? Yes, I do that a lot, actually. And speaking of which, you know what? Let's get a second spider suit in production because I would like maybe, yeah, Tabby and Cameron to be able to wear them simultaneously. So uh, having two, that's not going to be the worst thing in the world. You guys get going on that. Right, money's low right now. So uh, supply drop for two days and also uh, improve shotguns. Brilliant. Let's just find something to help us move things along because, uh, oh yes, on top of that... It's almost training center time. Now that I've been looking forward to. Probably the best thing we could do would be speed up the training center. Screw it. Get back over to skirmishers. I enjoy just going to their DIY store and buying like, you know, really good wood, screwdrivers, etc, etc. I suspect in the meantime, is the Avatar project about to do something? The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Central, that's only up to 4 out of 12. Like, that's where it was when we started. It's fine. Instead, let's just move time forward to payday, because in just a second, here we go. Okay, whole bunch of stuff done this month, together with, uh, yeah, big old pile of money, tiny bit of avatar progress, but we've done a lot to get it down, so... We're under control for the minute. Keep on keeping on. Obviously, you are nice and dead, so basically screw you. And as for the other two, right. The sniper's planning to, yeah, do sabotage. They want to see that's more of a mild inconvenience than anything else. The more concerning part might well be, yes, the warlocks trying to make themselves stronger. And on top of that, they can actually, yes, make covert actions more and more risky. Right, so you need to go down next. Got it. Next up, dark event. So, return fire. Right, so officers and priests, they trigger return fire. Honestly, not the biggest problem in the world. Uh, the space is that she had just miss shot. So, uh, aliens find a mole in the resistance. Retaliation counter reduction by two weeks. So, uh, right, they're about to build a new facility. And also, there might be more problems more regularly. Let's see what the other one is. Okay, that one uh, we get rid of. Ambush on every covert action. That is no good at all. And here we go. Yet more open order slots. Because yes, indeed, I've been doing a good bloody job making sure we do the jobs for these individuals. So, okay. We've only got, yeah, one slot available. Though in theory, I could move this. In fact, yeah, you know what? Move this to you. Then anything can go in wildcard. So, right. What do we want? Now, this one's interesting. The only new one. Effects of all weapon modifications is increased. Now, I don't know precisely, like, how much or anything, but... I mean, I've got a lot of uh, superior scopes, superior bits and pieces floating around. Uh, that's gotta be a good thing, right? I mean, you know what? 
Let's plug it on and see what happens. We're keeping between the eyes on. A volunteer army is occasionally very useful. Soldiers leveling up faster. That is never going to hurt, though. Yeah, how much I'm, like, feeling the difference or not, I don't know. So, get time ticking along. And, uh, oh, there she is. So, at this point, yes, whoever's got the assassin shotgun, they are going to be kicking a lot of ass and taking no names whatsoever because everybody's already dead. Okay, next up we've got... Power armor or plasma rifles, together with uh, autopsies. Some of these would be very fast indeed, potentially. And then there's a data cache, I think that's just intel. Though in theory it could be like, you know, a location of an advent base or whatnot. I simply don't know what may or may not be inside. So, uh, you know what? I don't know what shield bearer means uh, precisely, but there's a lot of mention of, you know, uh, armor designs. If the enemy have just been made tougher because I was fool enough to put up the difficulty, more defense could be a really, really good thing. Especially as, yeah, plasma rifle and powered armor, they both take a while to do. Yeah, we'll spend three days on shield bearer and just, you know, see what it turns up. Right, keep on hoovering up that money because... Oh yeah, I suspect in just a second, we're gonna have a brand new facility where I'm gonna enjoy spending it. Oh, there she is. So, okay, training center, strong bonds, and also additional tactical abilities. So, number one, this base functions as a chapel, so the soldiers who really love each other can get married. And apparently, yes, it's Major Claire and Colonel Cameron who want to go first. So, okay, you guys can do bond training. Brilliant. So, additional tactical benefits unavailable for three days. I mean, if we're lucky, nothing's going to happen in those three days. So you guys just get on with your bond training, as the kids are apparently calling it these days. And okay, we know what the benefits are going to be ahead of time. So if they go on covert action together, then it gets done faster. And on top of that, if one gets attacked and it says, yeah, attacked, not necessarily hit. So even if it's a miss, if we're lucky, aim bonuses for the other person taking out that enemy. Lovely. An additional bonus is granted if the bomb mate is adjacent. And on top of that, just by standing next to each other, they can get rid of days and other bits and pieces like that. So, okay, this sounds very useful. Let's just try this out and see how good it is. We can also, if we so choose, right, retrain ability. So yes, if I want to, I can say, screw it. Let's have this character do this rather than what they've currently got. So okay, if I need to respec in a hurry, we can do that. And number three, train abilities. Oh, uh, hang the cock on. So okay, I just selected Ted here. And uh, what this would appear to mean is, uh, yes, we can see the ability he already took at each level. But he's gained a War of the Chosen style specialization spreadsheet, meaning all of a sudden he can pick up not just abilities he didn't take previously, so he can double up if he wants to, but on top of that, abilities that simply don't exist. Like, he can't normally have these, so right, that's rather exciting. Plus, there have been some really difficult choices previously, so now I can say, screw it. You know what? I want Cameron to have a fanfire together with his, uh, what was it called? Yes, yeah, cereal. So we can just have uh, both, which is marvellous, together with being Batman. So he just stays uh, nice and concealed if I want to. So, okay. Just going to very quickly go through the team, have a little think as to, yes, whether anyone's got any incredible XCOM abilities uh, I've not seen before that I really, really want them to have. Oh, you know what? Tabby can most definitely have Shredder. So yeah, her sniper rifle, on top of everything else, shreds armor. Yep, you know what? She can have that, no trouble at all. For only 11, Cameron can have Ever Vigilant, because generally, yeah, thanks to Long Sight or whatever it's called, he can pretty much always use all of his AP. So, I mean, presumably when it says Overwatch, it means like proper Overwatch, not pistol Overwatch, right? Because, okay, for 11, you can have that, absolutely. And Claire can have Serial, because, uh, frankly, Serial is just incredible. For every kill made with your assault rifle, you get a full action refund, uh, and you can just start again. Basically, anyone who gets Serial ought to take it. That is really good. 
Untouchable is one of those ones that's just that's so good, you kind of may as well take it under all circumstances. So, uh, yeah. Ted at this point now, if he gets a kill, next attack just doesn't do anything. Brilliant. Okay, that's all I can see immediately that seems like, you know, incredibly useful. But we may come back to this later. Especially as, yes, we level up and more new abilities uh, might become unveiled. Okay, you know what? I'm no longer feeling quite so terrified by being on Commander Difficulty. Because now, we've got a whole bunch of new toys to play with. Though, admittedly, I'm probably going to forget about some of those new abilities. Given, yes, we just got a whole bunch of them in one go. So, I'm gonna do my best to try and remember, damn it, but no promises. Alright, pick up the supplies. We need those. Together with, yeah, new spider suit, shield bearer, autopsy, etc, etc. Though... That's just a facility, it's fine. So okay, Operation Moontooth, it's over in Eastern Europe again, lovely. And its very existence nudges Avatar up to 5 out of 12. We're okay, it's all under control, there's plenty of things we can do in covert actions to slow all that down. Just for the time being, get the supplies, get the spider suit, there's the spider suit, brilliant. And unfortunately, that was the last of our cores. So okay, we need to get more cores before, yes, this building could really do anything. Right now, all we can do is build another Skulljack, and uh, honestly, I don't even use the one I've got that much. Right, finish grabbing the supplies, and... Uh, okay, we've got something important from the Resistance Council. You want someone assassinated in Operation Swampfire. Got it, and... Uh, and I'm not gonna lie, that's like as many supplies as I got in the entire supply drop, so... You know what? Assassination tends not to be the toughest mission in the world. We're going in. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I may have slightly, um, yes, overestimated how much my team is ready to go, so... Okay, Professor, you're back, congratulations, you're now in charge, because you are the highest ranking person ready to go... Tabby's ready to go as well. She's going to kick ass and take names. Shock, I am pretty sure, is incredibly powerful if I just figure out how to use him correctly. So, okay. We got three people there. Stig, you buddy. You need a bit more of a workout. That's absolutely fine. And then, okay, who precisely have we got left and what do we need to be inserting into the team? Okay, right now we're missing a ranger. That's the only, yes, base class we don't have. Oh, we are really sending in the rookies now. So, okay. Yegor, you're going in. Good luck, basically. I mean, you've got good predator armor. It's not going to be too much of a problem. And you know what? Low-level demo experts tend to be pretty bloody good, actually. Because a, a grenade hurts no matter who's firing the damn thing. In fact, you know what? With this many, yes, relatively inexperienced folks on the field, I want a second specialist. Alright, we're taking a second specialist so we can do more healing if need be. Oh, I do not like this. This is my first ever mission that I'm doing on command difficulty and... Uh, this isn't even the B team. This is half the B team and some of the absolute cocking nobodies from the bottom of the list. Okay, now this is interesting. This is not just an assassinate enemy general mission. We're talking about capturing or killing. So... I have no idea how you capture an enemy VIP. Do I have any stun weapons? Because if so, I do not remember what they are. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news is, yeah, we've got ourselves at concealment. Bad news, uh, we're on a timer. No, it's not as bad a timer as it might be thanks to orders. So, uh, okay. Everybody forward, nice and careful. We're starting on the roof. We need to move forward into... Uh, this building. My actual target is, yeah, in the building beyond that. And then uh, we've got an extraction. And if need be, yeah, we have at the bare minimum got a bloody lot of grenades. Okay, I've got so many grenades. Oh, and naturally things aren't going to be easy for us. Oh, no. No, no, no. Obviously, we've got ourselves at flipping Archons. Just, you know, on the exact side of the building I was planning to climb up. So, okay. One forward, nice and careful, nice and easy. If he walks this way, it's going to take him a while to, yeah, get into range. Okay, target is not moving. They are not patrolling. So in which case, taps. You do have an excellent shot. Could you dead eye? 
with 99% accuracy, you could. You know what? I think that's probably the best opening we're going to get. So, uh, right. Screw everything. Pop up. Dead eye that guy right there. And a crit too. So, okay, that is... That's not just an arm corner. That is double codex. Okay, amazing. We have got two codexes on the field. Codexes? Codices, I'm going to say. Right. Next up, buddy. You need to die. And highly conveniently, right, James, you getting over there, and with your new and improved side glove, you can take him out and be in very good cover after you're done. Lovely. Together with bonus focus, because you just killed someone. Beautiful. Well done. So, okay. That's good. He's also got himself a momentum. If I don't do anything, he will now, yes, be immune to whatever comes next. And from his current position, yes, Stig can just not only hit the Codex on top, he can also knock out the floor from under it. I assume fall damage does, like, something. Basically, just nuke the area. At this point, take no cooking risks. So, fall damage. And he's lost his cover. If we're lucky, good. Good, good, good. He decided to clone himself. That's fine. That just means he's, yeah, dividing his health up, which is honestly A-OK. -okay. okay, presumably target number two is now standing somewhere about there, or rather like two hit points of his health is. Two is over here as well. And Twelve is here. So if I was to put another grenade about here-ish, I might be able to hit both of them. Though to be honest, I'm just causing them to clone over and over again, which is not really that great. But you know what? I am moderately confident if I shoot about here, Catch. it's going to get the other clone. All right, it's going to knock one of these guys uh, and also hit the other. So basically, yes, we're just firing uh, huge numbers of... Uh, oh, yeah. Five damage right there, four to you as well. Uh, I think presumably, yep, yeah, you're now cloning as well. So it says eight right now. It's not going to stay eight. That's definitely good to go down. Uh, yep, yeah, that's four. So now there is a four and a two and a four. What do we have left at this point? Honestly, we're running out of steam here, so right. Elizabetta, you just move forward. And what have you got? 64 or 62? Okay, take the 64, see what you can do. And... Okay, not great. Not a great start there, but that's fine. Because Professor, you've got combat protocol. So we can definitely finish off you. And I kind of feel like, yes, this one's the one who could get the flank on Elizabetta. So you do combat protocol right there, just to make sure codex number one of like four, or possibly three, I'm not sure, goes down. So okay. That's you, down for the count. Brilliant. All we've got left now is you. In which case, you parry. If we're lucky, this person attacks you. All right, though. Oh, blimey. This team might not be getting out of here without trouble. And... Now is not the cooking time. I do not need this today. Okay, bare minimum. He takes bonus damage from explosives. I've still got plenty of grenades in my back pocket. And he takes bonus damage from Templar, which is good. We've got one of those. And I'm starting to get to grips with him. Okay, he's got 30 hit points, and he is moving up into an elevated position. But for now, right, you're just teleporting. Can you do anything after... Right, Sonic Bomb, the team's pretty well spread out. That's not the worst. That was three people. Okay, that's still pretty bad. Then we've got you moving forward to the door there. That's just Overwatch. Honestly, that's not so bad. And okay, this is... This might not be a mission we can win anymore. I'm starting to get concerned here. Okay, step one, yes. James, you're getting into that building and you are finishing off. He just walked into an overwatch. That's, that's not great. And it was a miss. Good, 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 good. He dives in and finishes you off. Good, so okay. He should now be maxed out in terms of focus. Meaning if I can just get him on top of the hunter, he is going to absolutely cocking annihilate the bastards. With him inside, we can confirm it. Yeah, the other clone is dead, meaning there's now only one left on the field. 
and did you. Right, Elizabetta, this one's yours. Get right over here and I just finish it. this person off point blank if you'd be so kind. So get in there, lovely, 89%. Please do not fluff this. I need you to not fluff this. Good, not only not a fluff, we've got the crits. All right, everybody else, you just need to, yes, yeah, start moving forward. And honestly, yeah, it's just a move and reload. All you can do now is move and reload. Okay, everybody is now out of a psionic bomb, which is good, but okay. To reaffirm, plan A is now assassination, not capture. Screw capturing the enemy VIP. We are not doing that. We are killing them, and we are getting the cock out of dodge. Okay, end of my turn, the bomb goes off. But yes, now we know that is an actual bomb. Sonic Bomb, you know, the name should have given it away, but whatever. Advent do nothing, and you are just grappling higher and higher for the time being. So okay, you're up onto the absolute tip-top roof. And back down again. What are you doing, buddy? So far, nothing. Good, he's just getting into position. So I believe he is about here-ish. All we need to do is get eyes on him and start laying down the grenades. Because he is apparently super weak to them. And when we do attack him, we should try and finish it fast. Because otherwise, he's just going to start regenerating. Oh, and perfect timing. We just got off on the codexes a new core. So, okay, that's new proving ground projects. That there, that's marvellous. Oh, and even better, we've got Minjuna here. Possibly my best hacker. Actually, I think John might be slightly better, but... Okay. 100% blitz, 50-50 squad blitz. I cannot remember what blitz is, so okay. Just uh, crack into that, see what we've got going on. One free use of a run and gun. That is, uh, yes, you are allowed to uh, charge forward with like a sprint and then shoot afterwards, which... That's not necessarily the best when we're dealing with... Uh, the hunter but i guess it does mean we can get out of the way of his uh, yeah like sniper rifle and still attack him afterwards so uh, you know what no reason not to uh, take score of uh, 95 it's guaranteed to succeed uh, i'm not taking 50 50 and giving uh, everyone defense and mobility on the other side that is uh, not okay so bare minimum we've taken that out and as i understand it like i'm getting better by hacking like next time i hack He's now going to be better at it. You just gotta get better by doing. And yeah, don't forget if we can, James's vault is going to not only do bonus damage to the hunter, it's gonna make it easier for everyone else to hit him. But I feel like honestly, tossing an increasingly large number of grenades at him might be the better option. Okay, James, you forward. Let's see what we've got. And okay, to capture VIPs, move close, use subdue. Carry them to the evac zone. This is not plan A. This is, okay, we've got turrets. I see you. You're doing something. But are you going to be, like, running or moving? Or are you happy to just stay there? One turret, I see you. at Three armor, not nothing. Tabs, what have you got right there? You've got... Tabby could take out the target right now. Like, not even difficult, but... It's not plan A. It was plan A, John. You literally said it was plan A. Okay, but... We've got 11 turns. Okay, don't assassinate him just yet. Just see what else shows up before we jump right to that. For the time being, everyone just get forward. We need to get eyes on any other enemies that might be nearby to the building. Unfortunately, yes. Despite being able to hit the target, Tabby can't hit the turret. She just doesn't have a shot at it. Okay. Do I want Tabs to start moving to high ground? Honestly, this would put her at a better elevation than, yes, my actual, you know, hunter opponent. Tabs, you start moving that again. Actually, hang on. Tabs, could you... Well, what even is the cocking point of the grapple? If you can't grapple up to there. Fine, well, as your grapple's cocking useless, just go on foot, I suppose. We'll still be able to hit him from up the top of the roof. It just might give us, you know, a better shot at some other bits and pieces too. Just start getting everyone 
into a good forward position. Might give us visibility of, yes, my target, the Hunter. He's got to be around here somewhere. John, Minjum's got that scouting ability. Do not forget about that. Speaking of which, Stig, buddy. You get up to the roof too, because apparently that spot is relatively safe. It's not been flanked by the turret. Next turn, turret goes down. And... Okay, that was a 40% hit, but unfortunately it got it. And I think it just overwatched. Here comes tracking. Okay. He's going for tabs. But tabs can very easily get out of the way of that. Not a problem. Problem is, I do not see him yet in return. Okay, James. James, James, James. We need to get you fixed up. Where is the nearest, yeah, uh, specialist? Okay, it's Minjun or Elisabetta. So they're both sort of, but not that nearby. Okay, step one. Taps. You, you get out the way of uh, the sniper shot. And... Going to be honest, I didn't realise that was going to put her into Overwatch range. It didn't feel like it was Overwatch range, but... Okay, Tabs is now... Oh, Tabs is now really... Uh-oh. No, probably not there, though. Grappling over there feels like that's worse, not better. Okay. This is... This is... This is... This is... Pistol literally does nothing. Okay, step one. Shred some armor. And yeah, get me an opening to go and get our target. We might be able to... Actually, you know what? John. John, 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 John. Nobody said anything about having to kill the hunter. Our mission is to get this guy and escape. If we do that, we don't have to fight the hunter at all. I mean, that's the one advantage of the hunter, isn't it? He's actually fairly passive. He stands back, lines up his sniper shot, and then just sort of, uh, you know, waits to see if he's going to get it. Basically, we could just completely cocking ignore him. There is nothing to say. We don't grab the guy, then just, yeah, sprint out here, and then immediately just to evac out. Like, honestly, that's kind of humiliating for him that as a sniper, we literally walk straight past him. I kind of like that. Okay, get Elizabetta up to, yes, James uh, to get him nice and healed up. But lovely. So he's in a good sort of a situation. And unfortunately, yes, I don't think I can get the Professor up to taps. So in which case, okay, Professor, you are just running straight up to the top. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure destroying the floor under the turret just auto-killed it. I don't think it can, like, you know, fall and keep going or anything. In which case, Tabs, I want you to hunker down, okay? Because you are vulnerable till we can heal you. And we're not losing Tabs. And Stig, you move forward. Gosh darn it, we still don't have visibility on my actual target proper. Right, Shock, you get forward to have a scout inside the building. If anyone can get up to, yes, the Hunter. There he is, he's round the back. And a buddy. Oh, you're about to summon, aren't you? Because you're being way too talkative for just using one of your normal abilities. Actually, no. For some reason, he's done nothing at all. Oh, that's because it's not been his turn yet. Because, yes, we just revealed him by James getting nice and close by. But, yeah, we can't get a frost bomb anywhere nearby to him. But, bare minimum, if he decides to step forward, see if we can overwatch him. I doubt it's going to do much. But, aliens, don't know how many aliens there are. Then he's coming in. And, okay. That was a pistol shot. Luckily, it was yes, at a guy who can... Oh, hang on. He just did brutal. I don't know what that is or what that means. Okay, step one. Yes, we do not have a proper medic right now. Heal Tabby. She is a bit on the flimsy side, damn it. Okay, here's the funny old thing. Shock could get right up to this guy right now and could rent him immediately, which would also give him access to parry. The problem is, I do not know how many, you know, pods nearby he might activate. There might be other enemies who he is then exposed to. It's tempting, though. That is very tempting. Especially as Tabby has also got a shot. So, okay, guaranteed hit normally. 76 for Deadeye. Not so good, but a normal shot, honestly. 
That's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. We can lay a lot of hurt on in this turn. Okay, screw it. We're going to try and make it work. We're going for... No, not you. We're going for the rent. And this position is still a pretty good cover. Activate it. We're going in. This guy is scared of a Templar. Well, here comes a cocky Templar. Beautiful. So that is eight damage right there. Not bad. And that did indeed activate some people. But honestly, not the... Oh, never mind. Slightly, slightly bad people. Okay, there's 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 now a bad robot on the, uh, on the roof. So, okay. You can parry. That's fine. Tabs, what have you got? You've got that robot. Honestly, I feel like, yeah. Six to eight on this guy. Take it. Let's just drive him back a bit. Because you're also a shredder these days. So, basically... Screw you and screw your armor. Okay. He's down to half health. What else do we have here? We've got people who just came in from this angle. You would have. Yep, do it. Stig, get down over to here if you'd be so kind. Right there. I know it's a bit on fire. Sorry about that. So, okay. He could frost bomb this area, freezing them, which honestly would just, you know... Buy me a bit of time to be working on everybody else. So screw it. Frost bomb. That should hopefully just take you out of the fight, at least for the minute. So lovely. There you go. Right. So they're not doing anything for now. Okay, let's finish off those frozen bastards if we can. Elizabeth, you just get forward. Stay in a good cover and on target. How is it you're struggling to hit this individual? This individual is literally cocking frozen. We've got a plasma grenade though. I mean... These people do have armor. That's that's true. Then again, actually, could you... No, she can't get up onto the roof. She cannot get up to the roof. So, yeah, screw it. Shred the armor. Two for one. Possibly I should have done this first, then the freeze afterwards. Does that unfreeze them? It doesn't. Good. Good, good, good. Also, Sean. Oh, thank goodness we brought Minjoon. Because that means we've got Haywire Protocol. Okay, 68%. Minjoon, it's kind of really important that you make this work right now, okay? This is, this is kind of a big deal. 68%. All right, we do not care about enemy control. That would be great. But don't do it. Just in June, please. I am... A okay, we got it. We got it. It's fine. Okay. It's a temporary thing. But it buys me time to clear the rest of the field and get everyone else into position. So, okay. That robot ain't doing anything for now. Good. Good, good, good. I think we've got, like, two turns. Yeah, two turns before he does anything. Okay. And then we have got... Right, you're now out of... Everything, give or take. Uh, yeah, you've got no grenades at all. But bare minimum. Okay, where can we put you where you'd still have a shot? But still also be in cover. Honestly, maybe screw cover. Maybe we just prioritise starting to take these bastards out. Okay, I do not know how you've got a shot from there. But apparently you've got multiple shots from here. So you just get there and we'll fire on... Hang about... That's the target. 70%. That would be a kill if you get it. Only 28% up there. No, don't do that. 70%. Do it. Get the kill, please. Come on. Whoever the cock you are, let's get the lovely. Well done. That's one person shattered. And... Okay. You are now using Shogun. And that means, okay, you just brought some friends in, but also, hang on, did you just... I think you just Blade Mastered. Is that Blade Master? I think that might be Blade Master. And now you're going to... You're running inside away from the Blade Master person. I mean, fair and reasonable. Now he's grappling up top, but... Tabby should still have a really... Then he's coming straight back down again. I do not know what you're doing, but I appreciate it, so... What's next, buddy? And I think he's doing, like, the confusion grenade, right? Yep, yeah, that's the day's grenade. Okay. That's not so bad, all things considered, really. This is actually starting to swing in my favor. Like, I've no idea how, but it is. 
All right, Stig, old buddy, just see if you can move a tiny bit further forward to get a slightly better shot, because I do not know how you are struggling to hit a man frozen in ice, but apparently you are. So, okay. He goes down. Good, 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 good. The frozen lads are now taken care of. The professor is still in a good position to, yeah, move forward a tiny bit and start laying down the, yeah, guaranteed damage on the robots. That's bonus damage, isn't it? Here we go, combat protocol, and... I'm not sure if I just misclicked somehow, but he did it to, yes, not the guy I wanted him to do it to. That's, that's not really what I wanted, but... I mean, honestly, to be honest at this point, hang on, you've got lightning in your hands. Uh, that's going to do not much to you, really, honestly. Hang on. Vault. Jumps to nearby units. Costs a focus. And it does end your turn, unfortunately. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Well, in which case, I say, you, buddy. You're apparently scared of Templars. And as it turns out, you cocking well should be. Down, you cocky go, you stupid bastard. Okay, and that gets rid of the days too. Beautiful. Okay, he did, however, leave a yes. One Lancer on the field in the room next door. Be careful, because those guys have got, like, a dumb amount of mobility. Okay, Tabs. You, meanwhile, have got, yes, a very good shot at the robot. Either better, dead eye still 100. Take it. So Tabs pops up. That's going to shred one armor, together with a ton of damage. Be flipping beautiful. So, okay. Everyone start moving forward. I think it might be then again, John. Do not forget. Seriously, Lancers do not underestimate them. Lancers can be so stupid, potentially. We've got 10 turns. The guy's off the field. Do not panic. Do not rush. This is... This has gone terrifyingly well, actually. Like, there's definitely a few wounds floating around. But, I mean, we're on Commander Difficulty. The Flipping Chosen showed up and... Uh, We've seen him off nicely. Right, just double overwatch with the lads are downstairs. And you just parry in case the robot wakes up. Because there's nothing else you can do. So, if we're lucky, maybe you'll draw the attention. I think the robot did just wake up again. So, okay. Bladestorm immediately triggers. Okay, good to be honest. Bladestorm is hilarious. And Storm is starting to seriously kick some ass. And as for the robot, straight in two... Okay, that was one miss, unfortunately. Yeah, I didn't get and any chance we can go to the... I swear he was downstairs for a second, then he just wasn't. And if you're going to take a shot at this guy, parried. He just parried an explosion, because obviously he did. Though two damage from the fall. And here comes the other chappy, straight into Overwatch number two. Yeah, these guys really hit hard. And unfortunately, a miss on a 50-50. Though it definitely looks like you just shot your friend in the back there. He's going to get his, uh, yeah, dumb bat on off. Yep, seven damage and unconscious. Every cocking time. That's fine. You, buddy, are not going to be too difficult to finish off. Right, the heavy mackie is already in a position to, yes, just die to Tibbs. Good job, Tabby. Down he goes. Lovely. Well done. Even more armor shredding, but we did not need that. That should just leave this chappy. So, honestly, where's James? Because you deserve this kill right now. You are kicking ass. And no, not that one. Not that one. We've been doing a lot of work to not do that. Gosh darn it, you can't kill him. Well, you know what you can do? I hang about. If you just move into, yes, a slightly better position... I would love to see Volt in action. So, uh, three to six. Can jump to nearby enemies. Please don't jump to nearby enemies. I don't want that guy to die. So, there we go. Three, but also bonus aim. That guy's been, like, marked at this point. Meaning we're up to 90%. Stig should just be able to uh, finish him off. And nice and easy. Lovely. Not just a kill. A crit. And he's jiggling into a wall. Problem is, there's not much we can do to, yes, deal with you at this point. Because we've got no med kits left. So, step one. Pick up one basic auto loader. Kind of terrible. Right. Looks like we're um, carrying Elizabeth out of here. So, you grab her. Everyone's just being carried out of here, apparently. You know, I just realised we're not allowed to jump through these uh, red windows right here. So, okay, fortunately... I do have a solution for that. 
There we go. No more window. Lovely. Okay, everyone's in position, I would say. So, step one, subdue the enemy VIP. Just give him a quick boop. Lovely. And next up will be a grabbing you. I'm guessing this is about to trigger trouble. But that's fine. Everybody is ready to start retreating like now. So, okay, shock. You are the first out. Start making a run for it, please. You're going to be on, yes, the nearest slot as you are towards the rear. Professor, unfortunately, okay, you need to wait till next turn. But that's fine. It's all going to be A-OK. -okay. There are no incoming reinforcements right now. They can't get here till next turn. Then we have got, yes, Mejia and you are carrying Elisabetta with you. So as a result of that, yeah, that is two people, not one. And there we go. Reinforcements are now coming in. This is why we did it the way we did it. So just one more person needs to get onto the exit pad right over here. Just get our target into position. So, okay. That's five people. But that's because, yes, we're carrying two of them with us. Everybody out. Lovely. There's going to be some medical care that comes out of this. But, honestly... I mean, I think I dealt with that pretty well, all things considered. Also, we just dropped someone. We should definitely go back and get them. And you want to know the really fun thing, which is, um, yes. As it turns out, that's not as bad as it could have been. The very particular way I've set up my campaign, where certain bits of DLC are activated but not integrated, etc., etc., means, uh, if I've understood this right, that it is theoretically possible for the Snake Pope and the Chosen to show up in the same mission. So, um, yes, that didn't happen on this occasion, but apparently it could. So, um, there's something to look forward to. Right, the rookies all got promoted, and honestly, you guys deserve it. So, right, stick. You, buddy, you're becoming my gunner. So, absolutely, Shredder, that's for you, and no problemo whatsoever. Then we have got, yes, Elisabetta. You are going to be, yeah, backup medic in case John is unavailable. So let's get you medical protocol. And finally, we have got, yes, another gunner. You could be more towards the, yes, explodey side. If we're going to be training up Stig to be, yes, kind of like all about the guns, you could be our backup nothing but explosions. Oh, and speaking of the newbies, apparently Stig has fallen in love with Elisabetta. And I am completely 100% A-OK -okay with that. Speaking of which, Stig, you've done enough to deserve your makeover. And if you're going to be all about the guns, how about we give you, yes, like, as many ammo gauntlets as possible. The only problem being, how do we possibly improve upon perfection? The lad came with a monocle, damn it. So I've put him in, you know, the colours of his native Sweden. A lovely blue and yellow. Absolutely fine, but okay. We have to give you a really nice hat that goes with your monocle. Oh my goodness, we've done it again. Oh, well, that is just, yes, perfection. What could possibly go with a monocle better than a giant top hat? But yeah, I would most definitely benefit from four days of peace. In four days, the team's going to be looking much, much better. But right now, like, the entire A team is... Busy, in a hospital bed, various bits and pieces. So, okay, step one, mosey over to the supply drop. Let's get that sorted out here. And before we even do that, okay, shield bearer is now done. Oh, now that's interesting. So that gets me, yeah, experimental armor in the same way as I've got experimental bullets or experimental grenades. So the bullets have been incredible. The grenades a bit hit and miss, so right. Now, that's interesting enough for me to, yeah, get one of those projects underway, given I did just pick up a new core. And just one more that I think might be interesting, which is uh, Berserker. So, okay. Intensifying our troops' thirst for combat, which feels to me like something that might benefit, yes, my Templar and my Rangers. So, uh, get going on that. Let's see what we got. So, okay. As I say, if we can now just have uh, quite a couple of days, uh, that would be great. Just spend one day... Never mind, that was just an engineer back from their wounds. Good, that's actually good news. Speaking of which, that does remind me. Yes, I was actually supposed to be... Hang about. Experimental armor. Give it a go, why not? 
As I was saying, a one day here. There's a giant pile of money. Lovely. After that, we've got ourselves... Uh, okay. Crystals and alloys. I mean, it's never much. It's always, like, underwhelming when you do these, but... I mean, I was saying... We do need... Oh! There's the UFO. But it's in America right now, which is good. That's nowhere near us. Avengers Nip over here, and point. yeah. Pick up the crystals, etc, uh, etc. Et we'll need them sooner or later, especially the crystals. Those are getting a bit lower. You do need, like, 10 or 20 to go uh, for various bits of research. Just... Keep an eye out for, you know, the UFO. And, okay. Time to, yes, make the ship make sense. So, here's what we're going to do. This room is good for power. So that's precisely what we're going to do. Because it's going to generate 10 power all by itself. That's going to take 10 days. But, oh, no, it isn't. Because, yes, one of our engineers can now help with that. And honestly, at this point, we've kind of got so many engineers, especially with the drones floating around, that, um, yeah, we kind of may as well get one of them doing this job over here because... Uh, hang about, the are Oh, I know what I've done. This job down here, building the new power thing, that should be done by the robots, which frees up Miss Clark to be working in here, giving me giant piles of resistance comms, uh, Meaning that we can start making contact with new areas. Brilliant. And you know what? With those bonus contacts, how about, yes, what we do is go over here and make contact with East Asia. Because if we make contact with them and then just build one more radio tower, I think we've got this benefit. So at that point, is that just in this area or is it like worldwide? I don't know, but like, it seems pretty good, doesn't it? Enemy units lose an action on their next turn if discovered on the XCOM turn. So if we just scout ahead, which we do a lot with Elena, we can get the drop on the enemy. Do it. Basically, yeah, screw all of this nonsense. We've got a ton of intel right now. Go over here and make contact with East Asia. So okay, next up should be... Here we go. They were not ambushed. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, hang on. That was the final covert action for that. Oh. We can actually... We can do this now, right. We're ready to do another, yes, takedown. I don't feel like I'm actually ready to do another takedown. I feel like, yes, maybe give the A-team a bit of a chance to recover. Maybe, you know, wait for either plasma or power armor. Like, one or the other. I feel like I don't want to go in just this second. Oh, and I tell you what, the Reapers have got facility lead for me. Get it done. Okay, let's just get in and hang about. Who wants to go in? Someone nice and uh, higher. But honestly, this is uh, not an important mission. Right, John Martin, whose job is just to go and do covert ops and take shot with you. Honestly, the lad deserves a vacation. He did very well during that last fight. Instead, keep on keeping on it here. I would like to get this done, so... Oh. That UFO contact has us locked in. We have to take evasive maneuvers. Wait, what? Where's the... Oh, you're right, the UFO... Right, sorry, the UFO did sort of, um, just get on top of me a little bit here, so... Uh, we detected the UFO. That's my bad. I wasn't keeping an eye on where it is. So, um, begin evasive maneuvers. Let's just get the flip out of Dodge and... Oh, I feel like I may have just made a really, really, really big mistake, actually. Oh, I feel like I've just made a really, really, really... Uh-oh! Did I just lose the campaign? Because I feel like... Like our base is falling out of the sky. Impossible. There's no damage to the engines. Unless... Must be using an electromagnetic pulse. If I can just bypass all this alien circuitry... Hold on. Shen? Not accepting the transfer. In your face, ready. The system is overriding my command. Shen! Right. Someone get me a damage report. 
We've got a problem. Only one? They've just dropped some sort of spike outside. It's generating the same type of pulse that knocked us out of the sky. They don't want us. They want the ship. Isn't there some way you can override it? Not from here. I can't get our engines online while it's out there. Commander, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Destroying that spike is our only chance of getting out of here. We can't let the aliens take this ship. Okay, I think I may have just walked into something very, very nasty indeed, and I'm also starting to really, really cooking regret not, you know, cancelling out UFO attack, because... Okay, um, something really bad is happening. Okay, so, I'm really hoping, by the way. Okay, the A-team is ready to go. Right, Cameron, you're ready to kick ass and take names. Ted is back too. John, looking good. Brilliant, mag flipping, magnificent, in fact. We've got a choice of... Uh, no, we don't have a choice of uh, Rangers, uh, but that's fine. Karen is done with the therapy. She's feeling much better too. Who else wants to come along? Tabs, you did amazingly well in that last mission. And then... I'm going to be honest, I feel like... Yep, yeah, Claire. Claire and Cameron. It's going to be the old guard. It's the flipping A-team. They're flipping back. Okay, Karen's got the assassin gear together with the bonus crit rounds. Cameron's got the tracer. Tabby's got the aim PCS. They should both be knackering people left, right, and center. John and Claire both on the field. We've got plenty of healing. Ted can just keep firing grenades all day, every day. This is the best team we've got. I do not know what I'm walking into here, but I do not like it. Okay, so we are now literally at the bottom of the ramp at the rear of the Avenger. And, um... I've got two kind of uh, contradictory objectives here, which is uh, we've got to destroy this thing over here, the disruptor. That's got to go down. But if enemies reach the Avengers ramp, this zone right here, that's it. Game over. So how many people go forward to assassinate the device versus staying here to guard this? Because... Oh, cock me, I don't like this. Right, how about we call it a part there and we pick up next time because I do not know what I'm walking into here. But I feel like I may have just made a, a series of very bad errors and um, here comes counting consequences to potentially kick my ass. So, right, join me next time for whatever the cock this is. I do not know and I'm very, very scared indeed. So, hopefully you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime... I've been John, this has been Many a True Nerds, and this has been XCOM 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I'm going to be honest, if it's Glasgow on a Saturday night, there's large amounts of violence and screaming and chaos. That's just normal. That's not actually the alien, sorry. But on the other hand, I have a giant flamethrower robot. Would you not like to potentially let me at least try that before pulling the funding and power? No! Okay.